This factory makes gears that go into transmissions for industrial machines. Production begins with a large round bar of high-grade steel, which contains a certain amount of carbon to make it even stronger. An automated bandsaw slices off a piece that's the right thickness for the size of gear they're making. This piece is called a gear blank. They mount the blank on a computer-controlled lathe. As it spins, a turret carrying a series of carbide tools moves in. One tool after another takes its turn machining the blank to a specific shape. A shower of coolant prevents overheating when the jumbo drill has its turn. It bores a hole right through the middle of the blank. The last tool carves a groove on the front of the blank. This final bit of metal removal lessens the gear's weight. Now the blank goes into a computer-controlled mill. The mill drills holes through which lubrication will flow when the gear is operating. These holes also lighten the gear's weight. When the blank comes off the mill, they stamp it with the company name and part number. Now for the gear's teeth. A machine called a gear shaper carves out the inner teeth, the ones lining the center hole, with its titanium-coated cutter. The machine's other components keep the cutter's movement correctly timed. The number of teeth and tooth size vary from gear to gear, so for each model, the factory has to fit the gear shaper with a specific cutter. Now for the outside gear teeth. The computer-controlled machine that cuts them is called a gear hopper. The gear turns against it as it cuts. If the hopper would cut the full depth of the teeth in one shot, the cutter would chip. So the gear keeps turning around and around again as the hopper cuts a bit more with each pass until the teeth are the right depth.